In Mesopotamian religion, Tiamat is a primordial goddess of the sea, who mated with Abza, the god of the groundwater, to produce younger gods. She is the symbol of the chaos of primordial creation. She is female, and described as the glistening one. She is a creator goddess that created the cosmos, and she is also considered the embodiment of primordial chaos. She is often depicted as a sea serpent or dragon. In the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian epic of creation, Tiamat bears the first generation of deities, her husband, Apsu, correctly assuming that they are planning to kill him and usurp his throne, later makes war upon them and is killed. Enraged, she also wars upon her husband's murderers, bringing forth multitudes of monsters as offspring. She is then slain by Enki's son, the storm god Marduk, but not before she had brought forth the monsters of the Mesopotamian pantheon, including the first dragons, whose body she filled with poison instead of blood. Marduk then integrates elements of her body into the heavens and the earth. The Babylonian epic Enuma Elish is named for its insipid. When above, the heavens did not yet exist nor the earth below, Apsu the subterranean ocean was there, the first, the begetter, and Tiamat, the overground sea, she who bore them all, they were, mixing their waters. It is thought that female deities are older than male ones in Mesopotamia and Tiamat may have begun as part of the cult of Namu, a female principle of a watery creative force, with equally strong connections to the underworld. The mixing of the waters is a natural feature of the Middle Persian Gulf, where fresh waters from the Arabian aquifer that mix and mingle with the salt waters of the sea. Tiamat was sometimes, depicted as a dragoness in the The Enuma Elish which states that Tiamat gave birth to dragons, serpents, scorpion men, merfolk and other monsters, but does not identify her form. Her physical description usually includes a tail. Abza, fathered with Tiamat the elder deities Lamu and Lahamu, a title given to the gatekeepers at Enki's Abza temple in Eridu. Lamu and Lahamu, in turn, were the parents of the ends of the heavens and the earth, Anshar and Kishar. They were considered to meet at the horizon, becoming, thereby, the parents of Anu, heaven and Ki, earth. Tiamat was the shining personification of the sea who roared and smote in the chaos of original creation. She and Apsu filled the cosmic abyss with the primeval waters, forming all things. In the myth recorded on cuneiform tablets, the deity Enki believed correctly that Apsu was planning to murder the younger deities, upset with the mess that they created, and so captured him and held him prisoner beneath his temple, the Temple of Abza. This angered Kingu, their son, who reported the event to Tiamat, whereupon she fashioned eleven monsters to battle the deities in order to avenge Apsu's death. These were her own offspring, Basmu, Venomous Snake, Usumgalu, Great Dragon, Musmahu, Exalted Serpent, Mashusu, Furious Snake, Lamu, The Hairy One, Ugalu, The Big Weather Beast, Yuridamu, Mad Lion, Gertablulu, Scorpion Man, Umu Debrutu, Violent Storms, Kalulu, Fishman, and Kusariku, Bullman. Tiamat possessed the Tablet of Destinies, and in the primordial battle she gave them to Kingu, the deity she had chosen as her lover. The terrified deities were rescued by Anu, who secured their promise to revere him as King of the Gods. He fought Tiamat with the arrows of the winds, a net, a club, and an invincible spear. Anu was later replaced by Enlil and in the late version that has survived after the first dynasty of Babylon, by Marduk, the son of Ea. It reads, And the Lord stood upon Tiamat's hinder parts, and with his merciless club he smashed her skull. He cut through the channels of her blood, and he made the north wind bear it away into secret places. Slicing Tiamat in half, he made from her ribs the vault of heaven and earth. Her weeping eyes became the sources of the Tigris and the Euphrates, her tail became the Milky Way. With the approval of the elder deities, he took from Kingu the Tablet of Destinies, installing himself as the head of the Babylonian pantheon. Kingu was captured and later was slain. His red blood mixed with the red clay of the earth would make the body of humankind. The Tiamat myth is one of the earliest recorded versions of the Chaos Chaoskampf, the battle between a culture hero and a thonic or aquatic monster, serpent or dragon. Chaos Chaoskampf motifs in other mythologies linked directly or indirectly to the Tiamat myth include the Hittite Aluyanka myth, 
and in Greek tradition Apollo's killing of the Python as a necessary action to take over the Oracle of Delphi. <laughs>